Hi, my name is Wes Warner. I'm a Lieutenant RN and Field Training Officer for Advantage Ambulance. We're going to be going over the Zoll E-Series Cardiac Monitor. Just some of the functions of it, uh, how to change through some stuff, some basic stuff. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, easy to work with. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. So, something real simple here. It's just the paper. Paper trays on the back. Pop it open. Remove the paper. Uh, paper actually has a red line when it's towards the end, like that. So you want that towards the back. Um, that way you know when your paper is getting ready to run out. Alright, so we're just going to insert your paper here. Okay. Now, at the beginning of your shift, you're going to have a daily checkout list. On the back of that list, you have a defib test that you have to do. It tells you to do it, uh, to go ahead and check the uh, defib function on this at 30 joules. Uh, you're going to make sure that you have the test load plugged in. Okay, that's what would go towards uh, to your uh, uh, your pads, your pacer pads. Um, so just make sure it's plugged in. If it doesn't allow you to do the defib, it's because that's not plugged in. So going through some of the uh, functions of it uh, and going and doing the defib test that you'll do at the beginning of your shift. Click the defib. Starts off defib, 200 joules. I'm gonna drop it down to the 30 that we do our tests at. Charge. Shot. Once you have the defib on your strip, you can go ahead and click off your monitor and then tear this. Keep this with you till the end of your shift. If you have, uh, if you don't have any problems with the monitor or anything with uh, patient care, then you can go ahead and throw this away. This is something that will back up and show that you uh, check to make sure that the monitor was functioning correctly uh, before taking care of patients. So just hang on to it during your shift. You don't have any problems, chuck it. All right. So going back to, let's see, defib here. Come over here, you can hit sync. Now you got sync, and you can do your synchronized cardio version. Change it to the uh, joules that you want. And uh, again, uh, charge up and uh, defibrillate. Uh, let's see. If you wanna, um, after you hook up your patient to blood pressure cuff, you have the leads going to your patient, you can hit parameter. Let's see, select on through to NIVP, enter. Go to auto interval. Right now it's on three minutes. Sometimes the default to 15 minutes, sometimes to 30. Every monitor seems to default to a different setting, uh, but you can go ahead and just change it on each of your patients. To 15 is our minimum requirement for transport. Uh, hit return and hit NIBP auto. It will then flash auto up here. Go ahead and hit it once. You'll see once it's flashing, you know it's going to auto cycle for you. So I'm going to go ahead and Turn it off. Okay, perfect. Uh, so now we've got that taken care of. Um, you want to go to pacer down over here. Pace. You can change your amperage. Go back down. Uh, you can change your rate up to 100 if you need to. Back down and. That's it for uh, the basic functions here. If you want to switch through your leads, not a problem. If you want to uh, change the size of your QRS complex, uh, just hit size and it'll go up or down. Not a problem there. All right, gonna turn that off. Uh, that's all the functions for the Zoll E series that you really need to know. Just make sure you get a strip, a rhythm strip, when you're picking up your patient before you leave. Uh, so that's your baseline. You're going to get one somewhere mid-transport, and then you're going to get one when you drop off your patient. Um, if you have a more critical patient and you want to uh, show uh, some more strips, feel free to grab more and just um, make sure you're taking the photos of them and, uh, and including them with your documentation. That's it on the Zoll E-Series. Thank you.